Dom. It's a constant battle along the front range. People trying to save prairie dogs forced out by development. But those efforts are causing a big conflict in Erie. Those well-fed critters are bringing coyotes right into people's yards. And today, Colorado Parks and Wildlife warned people about attack attacks on dogs. One was even killed over the weekend. Jeff Todd is in Erie tonight. And Jeff, we understand neighbors are really saying that something needs to change. Kelly, right in between two neighborhoods, we have found dozens of these ears of corn right outside prairie dog holes. Somebody is coming and feeding the prey that the coyotes then come and eat. And some neighbors say this is making a bad situation much worse. You can hear them pretty regularly down in this open space down here. And then they come up looking for food because this is where the food is. They're coming into people's backyards. Kyle Mart says he and his neighbors know they're living in coyote country. It's nature and we live in nature. Do not have a problem with that. But when homeowner after homeowner after homeowner calls me because I'm the president and says, why are we getting all these coyotes? Colorado Parks and Wildlife says they've received seven reports of coyote incidents in the past month but think there have been many more. We have an alpha that comes down the backside here. Good boy. Martz is also the HOA president and hears from neighbors frequently that the problem has gotten worse. When prairie dogs look like the size of footballs because these dummies are feeding them, what do we do? Many neighbors are upset about people feeding prairie dog colonies around the neighborhood. And with these people feeding the corn to the prairie dogs, that's not helping. The backside of Bonanza have never seen attacks like this, and they're out there almost nightly, almost nightly. He says the town hasn't listened to residents' concerns. We need to get along with nature, but nature's overrunning us right now. We need a little help. Erie Police and Colorado Parks of Wildlife are working on this issue, but they say that there are likely a lot more reports that they are not getting. Another thing that neighbors told us is that when they do have interactions with these coyotes, they are not afraid of humans anymore. We are live in Erie tonight. Jeff Todd covering Colorado first.